Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at creating custom milestones for The Sims 4. So as always, we're going to start by using Mod Constructor version 5 and naming our mod. So I'm going to name this custom milestone and then click enter. And I'm going to click next on the add element option here on the bottom left. And then from the choices, I'm going to choose milestone. You can either leave it here as the main milestone or you can add the descriptor so you can find it more easily. So for example, let's do a milestone for someone doing push-ups. So I'm going to just call this push-ups and create it. Next, I'm going to give it a name. Hit first push up and give it a description. Now, if you want to include the Sims name, you'll use the legend they have here for target. So you want to do it exactly how they have it listed. Sim name did their first push up. Now you can choose an icon. You can either choose from the icons that are available in the program. I'll just choose a random one. Or you can use custom images you can browse and select from your desktop. Set iterations will require this goal to be completed multiple times. And you can decide how many iterations. So if you want them to do three push-ups or perform this action three times before it's completed, you can do three. You can also require certain objects. For now, I'm going to uncheck that option. You can also show the location. So if you want to show where this particular action took place, you can click the show location option here. I'm going to click that for our example. And next you have these different options, main content, Post conditions and availability conditions. Main condition or content, sorry, will let you choose a goal type. So you can choose certain goals, certain sims in an emotional goal. So if you want them to be in a certain mood, you can do it by a relationship change. So for example, if someone gets a partner or gets married for the first time, you can use that. You can also use the sim condition and the travel goal. I'm going to choose interaction. And then based on what you chose, you can browse and select the exact thing. So for example, I'm going to click browse next to interaction. And I'm going to go to base game and look for the push up interaction. Okay, so here we have three. So I'm going to select all of them. You can also choose by tag. So if there's a certain tag, for example, kisses, treadmill. Now, I'm not sure if they have push-ups here. They don't. Okay. So this would be something to use if you have a generalized interaction, which you'll see listed here. You can set this to only give the milestone if this interaction succeeds or fails. Wait until its completion. Include interactions that were canceled by the player and interactions that were canceled by the game. Succeeding or failing usually pertains to social interaction. You can also set target setting. For example, if you wanted to have a random target or be inherited from a previous goal chain or never inherited. You can also select by what are called role tags. These are situation jobs such as host, bartender, caterer, date, and etc. Post condition. So this allows you to specify that certain conditions have to be passed after the interaction in order for the milestone to trigger. So for example, if you want the sim to have a certain buff, have a certain romantic attraction, have a job, have a certain location, you can set all those options. 
you can also set availability options. So they have to pass a certain goal in order for the milestone to trigger. Same as the previous option. After you have set these options, you can proceed to the next option, which is milestone info. And this is where you can decide the ages that will trigger this particular milestone. So I've unchecked infinite toddler. You can decide if it's repeatable. So if you make it repeatable every time they do the interaction or goal that you set, it will show up. So every time I have my sim do push-ups, if I chose repeatable, it would show in that milestones category. You can also set target sims. So for example, if it's a certain social interaction or something that is involving another sim, you can set them as the target and it will show in that milestones panel. For now, we'll leave both of these unchecked. You can also choose the section. So under the milestones category, you have different sections such as social, life, and then infants have their own particular uh, milestones as well as toddler. Actions on complete. So we've covered in our previous tutorials actions. These are things that trigger certain things within the game. So if you wanted something to happen after this milestone is achieved, you can create an action here. And just as with other actions, you can set conditions for them to always run. And then you can add things to the action. So you can give, for example, the sim a certain buff. You can add a little notification or dialogue that shows up. You can add a statistic and so on. So I'll add a notification. So I'm adding a title and this sim did their first push up. Next, if you'd like, you can set a, an icon. So I'll just do the standard icon. I'll just, again, just randomly choose. You can also do a secondary icon. That's if you have a second participant that is involved, usually, and you can give them an icon as well. You can also play a little audio string. So usually in the game, when you get a notification, you get a little audio that plays. So here you can choose that. It's completely optional. So I'll just pick anything. Okay, so now when I complete this milestone, I should get a notification. Okay, and the last thing, display when unlocked. So when you go into the panel for your milestone, there's a little option that will show sometimes in gray the milestone before it's unlocked. And then once it's unlocked, it goes from gray to color and it shows the full milestone. If you would like that to appear, you can click this option. You can put a name and description. For this first example, I'm going to choose to uncheck this. Okay, so now that I've done all of my checks and I've made sure everything is complete for this milestone, I can export it to package. Okay, so I'm going to click export package. And I'm going to make sure it's in my mods folder. It automatically saves it as my creator name and the name I typed in for the mod. And then I'm going to click save. OK, so now has it been exported successfully. I'm going to close and we're going to go into game and take a look at our first milestone. OK, so now I'm back into the game and I've created some random sims really quickly. And I have a mod that allows Sims to do push-ups and sit-ups without it being autonomous. So I'm going to click here, exercise, do push-ups. Now let's open up here our panel for milestones. So right now we don't have any milestones yet. So let's take a look and make sure this works. Okay, play. Okay, so he didn't do the push-up, but we got the milestone that they did their first push-up, and we got the notification. So the name isn't working. Why is the name working? So the reason it's not working is because in my descriptor, we just wanna change this to a zero. So even though the example says 
one, that's usually if it's another sim as a target. If it's this sim, you want to make sure it says zero. So we're going to try that one more time. And I'm going to export it and we're going to take a look again. Okay, so it went back in the game, I exported it. So let's take a look now and see if it works successfully. Uh, okay, he's angry, so the push ups interactions change a little bit. All right, he's doing his push ups. I got the notification. See, I got the milestone. And now it shows the name correctly. Whoopee Big Williams did their first push up. So we've troubleshooted it and we fixed it. That's a way um, that I usually suggest doing everything when you make your mods. Put it in game, test it. If you have an issue, something's not working correctly, just try it again. Okay, so now we're going to look at having an interaction between two sims trigger a milestone. So I'm going to pause and we're going to jump back into the mod constructor version 5. Okay, we're back in our mod. I'm going to click Add Element. We're going to choose Milestone. This time we're going to do a milestone where one sim yells at another. Okay, so I put yelled at just so I know which one it is. Okay, so now I'm going to put yelled at. Okay, so I'm going to put the symbol, and now that I know the correct one for the main sim, I'm going to put that in zero dot sim name yelled, and then I'm going to put the target sim, which is the sim they're going to yell at, as the second one with one dot sim name. Okay, and then I'm going to choose an icon, put a headline. Let's choose this one. This is perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to have it be a main content type. And I want the interaction. Okay, so browse and let's look for yell. Okay. Yell at here, right here. Perfect. So we're going to click that and select. And let's see. We want it only if it succeeds or fails. Oh, we're gonna we'll just leave that for now. Post conditions. No, we'll leave that. Okay, milestone info. Okay. We'll let this be repeatable because we want to have it happen with a certain amount of sims or more than one. And we're going to show our target in this case. And instead of life, I'll choose social for this particular category. Actions on complete. Okay, so I, I want to have a notification again. So I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to open the tab, add a condition. So this will always run. And then I'm going to right click, add action, where it says do nothing. I'm going to add a notification. So again, I want to put the same dialogue, so I'll just do a quick copy paste. Sim yelled at um, the second sim, and then I'll do the icons. So if you want, you can shoot um, show participants. I will show their pictures. So I will do that for this particular case. And I'll just choose a random audio stream. Okay, so now I'm going to export this to our mods folder over the original. Okay, I'm going to pause. We're going to jump in the game and make sure that it works. Okay, so we're in the game. I have my two sample sims. So I'm going to have them yell at him. And let's see if it works. Mean arguments yell at. Okay, so let's see if it works. Okay, he yelled at him. Okay, so I got the notification. Okay, so let's see. The milestone is there. Okay, so the milestone is there. The only thing is the name. So now let's troubleshoot why why the name isn't showing. The location is showing, the title is showing, just not the second sim's name. Okay, so I'm going to pause and we're going to take a look and come right back into our mock instructor version five to troubleshoot.
Okay, so I went back into my constructor. I'm going to try using sim first name with the one in it and see if that works. Um, the the other thing I may consider doing is object two object names. So I'm going to try both and tell you which one works in just a moment. Okay, thanks everybody for waiting. After a lot of troubleshooting, I found out how to make it display correctly with the first name. So what I had to do was click on target settings and I had to click require target to be part of the same situation. I left it as any, and then under target conditions, I added the condition to always run. This made it display correctly. Now I'm still having a little bit of issue making the notification show correctly, which could be due to maybe not selecting participant or not, but for now, I'll just put the notification yelled at ASIM. And I'm going to export it to the game. And I'm going to show you now the correct title should show for the milestone. Okay, we're back in the game. We're going to do this one more time. Choose the action. Yell at. Okay, and see. Okay, he yelled at him. We got the notification. And now it shows the both names. Boopy McWilliams Yoda Xander. Okay, and we can open up his panel. And it also shows his picture and it shows the location. Okay, so that's how you create your custom milestones. Thank you so much for wa watching. I want to say a special thank you to all of my patrons. If you'd like to join my Patreon page, you can. It will be in the description. And I'll see you next time.